end of a shopping era. Century 3 Mall will be closing its doors. And loyal Century shoppers. Century 3 Mall has been shut down. Signs Century posted on the doors is that say it's tenants tonight. The struggling malls in bankruptcy recently the ordered closed mall by with some huge back. problems and tonight more headaches for Century 3 Mall. Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another Dead Mall feature. We are taking a return trip to the Century 3 Mall located in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania in the southern reaches of the Pittsburgh area. There's not really much more I can add to the story of this once proud shopping mecca. Video after video has come out on this property, including an earlier one from us way back in the beginnings of our channel. Having said that, we felt it was appropriate to mark our stamp on this property, considering the recent turn of events. Century 3 Mall is now closed to the public. The sole remaining store is J.C. Penney. The owners, you guessed it, Moonbeam Capital Investments, have strung up the West Mifflin community like scheming puppet masters, holding the property hostage, all while embroiled in endless legal snafus, unpaid back taxes, and a sour taste in the mouths of many residents and community leaders. This footage was shot over the course of 2018 on several visits, so certain shots may not mesh completely with one another, but this is a full walkthrough of the entire property. Certain historical images, many of which can be found over on Facebook at the Century 3 Mall Memories page, will be featured throughout. I will just be touching on the brief historical beats of the mall. For a more detailed history, I implore you all to head over to my friend Sal's YouTube channel, The Expedition Log Series. His videos on Century 3 are an unprecedented epic that delve deep into the rooted history of the property, as well as what this whole dead mall thing means to so many people. I encourage you all to give it a look. It will also serve as a nice appetizer for our next video, which was shot by Sal on our behalf. Century 3 Mall was developed as a joint venture between Pittsburgh's U.S. Steel Corporation and Youngstown, Ohio-based Edward J. DeBartolo Realty. Ground was broken in 1976, taking on the name Century 3 to commemorate the ushering in of America's third century. The mall was constructed on a tract of land in West Mifflin, which was used as a dumping ground for slag, the byproduct waste of steel production. The mall opened over two phases, the first on October 24, 1979, featuring 75 stores, J.C. Penney, Kaufman's, and Montgomery Ward. The second phase of the mall opened March 12, 1980, and brought the remaining lineup of stores, a food court, and two additional anchors, Gimbals and Sears. The final square footage totaled 1.2 million square feet on two levels, which became three at the east end of the mall, where the Sears and Ward's concourses met. This end of the mall featured many architectural treats, such as ramps and staircases, as well as a fountain. The center court also featured a fountain, as well as a stage, and a sculpture entitled Pittsburgh Reflections, designed by Carnegie Mellon University professor Douglas Pickering. The mall was a top performer in the 1980s and was the crown jewel of the region. However, this did not stop an onslaught of anchor changes from occurring. Gimbel's was closed by parent company British American Tobacco in 1986, and the Pittsburgh division was sold to Kaufman's. Since they already had a store here, the gimbal space was split between Marshall's upstairs and a TJ Maxx downstairs. That same year also saw the closure of Montgomery Ward, which changed over to Pittsburgh-based Joseph Horn Company. The status quo remained unchanged into the 90s. Century 3 was a powerhouse, showing no intentions of slowing down. When Horn's closed in 1994, Columbus, Ohio-based Lazarus quickly took the space. In 1996, DeBartolo Realty was purchased by Simon Property Group, and the mall underwent a remodel shortly thereafter. The original stage and fountain were ripped out, replaced by a circular fountain. The beloved Pittsburgh Reflections was also removed. Large skylights were installed throughout, and the mall's original red carpeting was replaced. Minor cosmetic changes also occurred throughout the mall. 1997 saw the closure of Marshall's, replaced by Wyke's Furniture, 
TJ Maxx expanded into the TJ Maxx and more concept, and the following year saw the closure of Lazarus, which changed over to Kaufman's Furniture Gallery. As the 2000s progressed, Century 3's fortunes started to decline. This was due in part to the deindustrialization and lowering incomes of the area, as well as better shopping options in more convenient locations. More retail bankruptcies and mergers took their toll. Century 3 was located away from most major highway thoroughfares, and its poor location proved to be its undoing. A large-scale retail development in nearby Homestead, called the Waterfront, drew a lot of business away, as well as a remodeled South Hills Village to the west. Century 3 still soldiered on. More anchor changes came along, with Dick's Sporting Goods replacing Wyke's Furniture in 2004, and Stephen Barry's taking over for TJ Maxx that same year. 2006 saw the changeover of Kaufman's to Macy's. The furniture gallery in the old Lazarus also changed hands, but this would close in 2009. After the closure, the hallway leading to the store was walled off to the public.
Century 3's troubles came to a head in 2011, when Simon walked away from the property. The mall was placed into receivership, and a new owner came forward in 2013. Las Vegas-based Moonbeam Capital Investments purchased Century 3 for $10.5 million. Sears closed the following year. Moonbeam announced plans to demolish that end of the mall and redevelop it into a mixed-use outdoor shopping center. A lawsuit emerged from Sears against Moonbeam for the latter failing to pay Sears back for the purchase of their building. This hindered any redevelopment plans and continued the mall's decline. 2016 saw the closure of Macy's and the mass exodus of smaller stores began. Due to the mall's construction and its location upon the deposited slag, the Sears end of the mall has started to shift and settle, causing cracks to form in the masonry, and it even appears that the Sears building is in danger of separating from the rest of the mall. In 2017, the entire east end of the mall was barricaded off. Later that year, a water main break occurred in the former Macy's, leading to water damage in the store and parts of the main concourse. In 2018, the first of several planned but ultimately canceled sheriff's sales were announced. Century 3 would be auctioned off and away from Moonbeam's grasp. These were all postponed at the last minute, owing to Moonbeam's trickery, shifting money around to their different holdings around the country to stave off the inevitable. Alas, the inevitable has happened. A second water main break occurred in January 2019, prompting code enforcement officers to shut the mall down due to safety hazards. By February, all remaining tenants were instructed to close up shop. On top of that, Moonbeam owes West Mifflin $372 million in combined school and property taxes, and the property is tied up in various legal proceedings, the biggest of which is tasked with figuring out what to do with the Sears building. A sad, lonely end to a once grand shopping center. In the meantime, J.C. Penney remains the only remaining business on the property. Dick's Sporting Goods closed at the end of March. The rest of the property remains largely forgotten, a relic of a better time. Moonbeam strikes again, and one wonders if they can ever be stopped, or if the trail of neglect will forever continue.
Moonbeam has done nothing for our community but drained our resources and caused financial restrictions. Shame on you. It's time for you to grab your hat, coat, and leave. Let us do the right thing for our residents.